Okay, um, today is Thursday, January 14th, 2016. Um, this is my first video back home about my uh, eye surgery. Um, it has been 27 days since my surgery, um, and I wanted to follow up uh, about my first follow-up appointment. Um, back home here. Uh, it actually was a week ago on the 7th of January um, and I just hadn't gotten around to making a video yet so I uh, wanted to provide some updates. Um, my optometrist was really excited about uh, my eyes. Well, he was excited about the surgery um, or the results of it rather. Uh, it, everything seemed to look really good. Um, I apparently I have uh, a line in my right eye, uh, like right below my like uh, line of sight, I guess. Um, that's you know still healing, and I I do have some ghosting in my right eye, um, and and he thinks that that is probably the cause of it. So. Um, he was pretty optimistic, but then re uh, revised that to be cautiously optimistic. Um, so uh, he was able to, we were able to get that corrected um, to 2020, which was really exciting. And um, since it's only been 27 days since the surgery, well, at that point in time, it was what? like 20 days since the surgery. It was supposed to be a 17 day follow up, but um, uh, just the way things landed it, it didn't quite make it. So um, we were a few days late on it. So uh, my, let's see, I'm trying to remember everything that he said. Oh, they were able to knock out a ton of astigmatism apparently um, with the surgery. So that was really cool. Uh, pretty excited about that. Um, my left eye is still in the process of healing. Um, both eyes, uh, from what you said, are both very much a keratoconus eye. So I, I still have, you know, some of the um, symptoms, I guess, of, of a keratoconus eye in both both of my eyes. But I, it seems to be a lot less pronounced, which is really cool. So my left eye. Uh, is still in fairly, I mean, not terrible shape, but bad shape, you know. Um, but it definitely is not quite as far along in the healing process as my right eye. Uh, he said my left eye, uh, you could, he could still see like where the epithelial was growing together, um, which I found kind of fascinating. <laughs> so uh, that that's still going. Um, I'm I'm. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like after it's finished growing together. Um, I have another appointment, uh, actually a week from today. So um, two weeks from my original follow-up appointment on the 7th. So it's a week from today. So I'm, I'm excited to see what uh, is going on with that. Uh, that appointment will actually be um, pretty close to a month after I got the surgery. So uh that's pretty cool that's quite a quite a milestone um and i'll try to make a video for that uh to relay everything that he's um my optometrist is talking about then um but yeah everything's going well i mean i can see fine more or less uh not great but fine um you know definitely as the day goes on and my eyes get tired uh, my vision gets worse. Um, definitely keeping lots of drops in my eye. Still taking the Maxidex four times a day, so that's the steroid drop. Um, and so, I mean, I have no idea what that does. I can't really tell a difference per se, so I, I'm sure it's just doing its thing. Um, and yeah, so I don't know. I'm. It's driving is fine at night it's a little rough I mean with your my eyes a little bit more tired and the 
my left eye especially you know just the character kind of stuff going on um, it's not fantastic but it's doable um, so it's, it seems to be working fine so far so anyway that's my update for today and uh, I'll have another one next week hopefully